glucose, but also fat. Okay. All right. Okay. So in, insulin, what insulin does is to get energy into cells. So it's like a taxi. It's like an Uber. It's like a taxi, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's not a taxi. It's like a, it's telling other cells to do that. So insulin, for example, binds to other cells that are the actual taxis. So it's like, okay. it's like calling the Uber, I would say, okay. maybe, right? Um, and, um, and insulin is, is, you know, it's the fundamental. So when you, when you eat food, insulin levels go up because its job is to store that energy. And when you exercise, insulin levels go down because, because you want to then reuse that energy, right? So, so, uh, so when cells get more energy, they're more prone to going out of control, basically. And, 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 and inflammation is caused by basically by getting, you store so much fat in your cells that those fat cells start to swell. And when those starts to swell, like anything, right, they start to rupture, they get damaged. And that damage attracts the immune system and the immune system gets turned on and that causes inflammation. So, so too much adiposity, too much fat, you know, over swollen fat cells is, the, is a primary cause of systemic inflammation. And inflammation is like the slow burn in our bodies that causes widespread damage to pretty much everything you can think of. And it turns out, that so the two ways to deal with inflammation are one to prevent it right so don't eat foods that are pro-inflammatory like anything with a lot of sugar basically right that, I mean that you know the sugar is highly inflammatory um, or trans fats are highly inflammatory.